Hi there. Yesterday when I saw my old photo album, I saw the old me. And I thought that the kid was so cute and adorable. Better than now, of course. The other thing that clicked in my mind, that why kids and babies are so cute. Then I searched and found some amazing fact about babies. And this is the result. Come on, let's dive into it. They are an amazing donor. During pregnancy, the fetus can send stem cells from its own body to its mother to repair the mother's damaged organ. And this could surely explain that why half the women who develop heart weakness during or just after pregnancy recover spontaneously. Learning begins in the womb. During the last 10 weeks of pregnancy, babies are listening closely to their mother's voice. So after they are born, babies are able to recognize their mother's voice. And her voice is their favorite sound. They love to hear you talk and sing to them. So although they won't say their first word until they are about a year old, they learn about language right from the beginning. They are born swimmers. Some people think that babies are born swimmers, they have the natural ability to swim, but it is just the swimming reflex. Since they already swim in the placenta, in the amniotic fluid of mother, they develop a swimming reflex that includes bradycardia, that is slowing of the heart rate, apnea, that is restriction of breathing, and peripheral vasoconstriction, that is reducing the blood flow in the toes, legs, fingers, and accumulating the whole blood and oxygen for brain and heart. Hence, all these primitive reflexes leads to the swimming, as you see, but it goes away as the baby grows. They are cute for a reason. Yeah, they are made cute. Because newborn are designed to elicit a strong emotional and protective response in their parents. Their big eyes, chubby bodies and sweet little noses give parents the need to provide comfort and safety. Apparently, cartoon artists intensify those exact features when they want a baby to look cute on the screen. Moving tongue to understand speech. Babies use their tongue to listen and understand the speech. A new study found that when infants can't move their mouth to mimic sounds, they have harder time in processing them. The study was done on six-month-old infants. Psychologists and audiologists found that when a pacifier prevented babies from moving their tongues, they were not able to distinguish between two different novel D sounds which were common in Hindi but not common in English. Now you know the reason behind the wiggling of their tongue. They cry with their accent. Yeah, you heard it right. The researchers have found that babies cry with an accent from as early as week one. Research published in current biology study, the cries of 60 babies from French and German parents. They found that the toads cried with the same prosody or melody used in their native languages. That's weird. So just listen carefully to their cries. They sleep with their eyes open. Yeah, it is fairly common in infants and it is harmless too because there is no medical cause and there are no symptoms from sleeping with the eyes partially open. In medical speak, it is known as nocturnal leg of thalamus. Their big eyes. The myth is finally busted. Despite the common belief that babies' eyes are full grown at birth and never change, they actually only about 75% the size of an adult. Normally, a baby has 16.5 mm diameter of the eye, and a normal adult have 24 mm. So their eyes grow too. But due to disproportionately large eyes compared to the head, they look big. They have breasts and produce milk. All babies have breasts and they lactate. Newborn babies of both the sexes can occasionally produce milk. 
This milk is called neonatal milk. Baby boys and girls lactate. Sometimes that post-birth quick drop in the estrogen hormone can also cause something called galactoria, which is when newborn develop small breast bud and produce tiny amount of milk from their nipples. It happens about 5% of all babies and can last up to 2 months. Hush, I'm so tired. Let's take a break and halt it here. So, I'll meet you in part 2 of Babies Are Really Weird. Okay then, meet you later, Terminator. Prasthanam Karuti.